the Joe Rogan experience. My friend Jessa Reed, who's a very funny comic, her mother was saying, you know, she has daughters. She goes, you know, you let the kids on the phones too much. She goes, mom, in 10 years, they're going to be the phone. Yeah. She was like, the phone's going to be inside of them soon. Yeah. So it's like, well, I, well, I what am what I fighting? Do. You know, yeah. what am I fighting with? Yeah. I limit my kids' time on the phones, except the older one, of course. Do you? Do you, <laughs> <laughs> you just go up to her. You're like, you, I just don't think that um, it's do you a, control a challenge. The content? That we, yes. You, yeah. I just don't think it's a challenge that we ever face. Are they allowed to watch InfoWars? Uh, all, all day. That's Good. all we have. Thank God. Yeah, we pro project <laughs> it. Um, what, what else is... Um, the, the keys uh, screen time screen time's a big key yeah um, tell her about Epstein Epstein didn't kill himself that's big you gotta tell Huge. them that before they start googling and yes. for themselves they gotta know they gotta, they gotta know. know it fucks up your sleep when you're on a, I fall asleep to a podcast you're gonna laugh oh, that's not good. I used to fall asleep to Alex I would listen to Alex's clips on YouTube and I would fall asleep to just uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, and I, I would be able to put me to sleep. You know, what I think his best video is to this day. He's the one of the greatest entertainers of our time. You got to, but you got to yeah, watch him. When I first met him, yeah, he wasn't. The I've been Alex listening to Jones him since people see today, and GCN, I think yeah. the Alex Jones that he is today is changing because of his not being. Uh, not drinking. Well, he's in. Oh yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, because he's clean for ninety days. Interesting. Like, he sounds yeah. different. But what I'm thinking is, when I first saw like nine eleven Road to Tyranny, it was one of the first videos that I ever watched. I was like, whoa! Like it's one of the first videos that ever opened my eyes up to certain conspiracies. And one of them was the conspiracies of using agent provocateurs to incite violence. Yeah. In riots. Yeah. To, to incite that feeling of chaos. Yeah. And then that they use that as an excuse for the police to come in and start arresting people. Of course. Because yeah. now it's no longer a peaceful protest. And it's they do it all yeah, the time. And so he was making this argument about the World Trade Organization. Yeah. Uh, WTO. And, yeah. Yeah. And so he showed all these videos of these guys coming in with uh, government issue work boots on. They have like fucking the same soles as like government issue work boots they're wearing ski masks breaking buildings lighting shit on fire smashing everything and then the cops come in and clean everybody up and then they actually made it a no protest zone interesting so you a guy went through or a woman i forget which but had a pin with a wto on it with a red line on it they told him you had to take that pin off yeah the the america well, yeah well it's just every every protest resistance movement has been infiltrated the fbi did a cointel pro mm -hmm. they did it with you know the black panthers they've just done it with everybody but Every, when he plays yeah. that video and you see that and it's like real clear, and then you hear the, what, how it all played out, that all the agent provocateurs wound up going to a safe house and then the police released them. That's like crazy. They negotiated with the police and the police released them. You're like, yeah. wait a minute, what? Yeah. Like you, there's not even yeah. arrests made? It's probably somebody's job in the FBI to dye their hair pink and like you'd go into <laughs> Portland and start throwing rocks at Ben Shapiro or well, something. Back then they were just allowed to wear ski masks and shit. Right. They would just start smashing shit and yeah. you couldn't even know who they were. Yeah. And back, you just yeah. assume that that was, I mean, it's such a crazy way to stop a protest and I never thought about it until I watched it. But a video. smart way too when you oh, think about it. It's fucking real it's smart. smart. <laughs> you know, it's, these but guys know what they're doing. They, but they've been doing that kind of shit forever. Yeah. You know, that's like standard yeah. operational procedure. 100%. Fucking, this is a, a weird time for conspiracies. You it's know, weird. They've gone mainstream, which is yes. not good. Very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Well, Trump's into a lot of them. He's into a lot of them. Yeah. And I think there's not a huge, there's only a small group of people that want a rational discussion about them. Right. People really just want to be emotionally fed. Mm -hmm. Does this feel right to me? Yeah. And there's a very, like I had a guy call me today, he's a very smart guy, he wrote The Franklin Scandal, which is a book about the original Epstein thing, like the original sex trafficking thing. What's that? Well, The Franklin Scandal was a, it was a scandal out of Omaha, Nebraska, the Franklin Credit Union, where there was oh. a guy who was embezzling money, and then he was being investigated for that, but they said he's all, he has all this money because he's running an interstate pedophile network, and he's pandering kids to, you know, people in Washington, D.C., and New York, and there was a, a headline in the Washington Post or the Washington Times that were like, call boys get a tour of the Reagan White House and you know this was a scandal with real victims who wanted to testify and then people started dying you know the private investigator they hired his plane broke up um, one of the girls that uh, testified was found guilty of perjury and then she was put in solitary confinement they had to use two grand juries in Omaha to get rid of this scandal and it's one of now it's not as sexy as like a pizza gate or something because it happened in the 80s and 90s but this shows you the blueprint for the government you know, using marshalling resources to to silence people that were victims of this stuff. This is not new. Congressmen, senators, blackmail being used by intelligence agencies. None of it's new. It was pioneered by the mafia. 
you know, intelligence agent, Whitney Webb, who lives in Chile, and I've had her on my show. She writes a lot about this stuff. You know, this is, you know, if you want people to talk, you need info, you need leverage. Yeah. There's nothing, that, there's no more leverage than you having sex with somebody who's underage, then they own you forever if they have photo, audio, video of you doing that. So these things have been going on for a while, and the Franklin Scandal was one of the first. But, you know, the guy who wrote it, this guy Nick Bryant, called me today, and he goes, I can't get any agents. It's very hard because, like, you know, the reality is the mainstream media is uninterested in, in, in a lot of these stories unless they're current and they're sexy and online fringe people are only interested if they're um, insane. Well, there's so many of them yeah. now, though, too. There's yeah. so many. It's hard to keep track. Like you, you were just saying that you were just in Dallas. Did you do yeah. the drive? Did you do the... the I didn't do the drive, but I went to the X where he was uh, shot. Oh, where he was shot. There's there was five there? Canadians there, and they were like... I was just started giving them an impromptu tour of Dallas because they were like, is this where Kennedy got wet? And I'm like, yeah, this is how it happened. How many people do you think have stood there and went like this? Right, yeah. A ton of, <laughs> a ton of, I wanted to do it. Yeah, there you. it is. There it is. Wow. I wanted to do it with a Popeye's chicken sandwich and just write, you know, this is America. It says this is where Princess Diana was killed. Yeah, we just had a little fun. Is that really where Kennedy was killed, though? That's exactly where he was shot. That's wow. exactly where. And how cryptic wow. is that? that look how angry you look. <laughs> you yeah. You're a crazy person. Well, I'm just trying to have a little fun. I understand. It's a weird thing to I joke know. around about. It's, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but then you go to the school book depository, and it is super close. Like, it could have happened. Oh, for 100%. sure. 100%. Listen, everybody who says there's no way he could have made those shots is out of their fucking mind. There's right. not that that far that is not the thing that makes me think it's a conspiracy it's right. literally everything else yeah it's every other component of the story yeah there's it's a oswald being components. shot yes. immediately yes i mean that's oswald sure surely could have been in on it of course yes he could of have, course he could have definitely been in on it or he could have definitely been set up i Both mean like, of those things are possible and and, and dallas is an interesting energy because of that yeah. Like it's a great city, but it does feel like it feels like a city of thing people that keep their mouth shut. Mm -hmm. A lot of big corporate steakhouses, high end hotels. Yeah, a lot of people carving up, you know, deals. You know, it just feels like you know something's going on. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So that's where he is, and that's the building up there. See, that's not that far. It can happen. I think they said it's uh, just like a hundred and fifty yards or something like that. It's not when you're actually there. It looks even closer than this. Yeah. How many yards was it, Jamie? Find out how many yards Oswald had to shoot to hit Kennedy. But it's totally doable. And people that say that's not, you're crazy. They're nuts. And people that say that you can't un, uh, like load a, a gun that fast, maybe you can't. I bet you someone can do it faster than you. Yeah. I've seen guys use bolt-action rifles fast as fuck. Yeah. Could they get off three shots in that amount of time? I don't know, but I, I'm not, I don't think it's magic. I don't think it's like something impossible. The other thing they said was like that the scope was off. Like anybody said that doesn't know shit about scopes. All you have to do is handle it a little bit, drop it, bang it against things. It was to the me scope it was goes off. the idea that that guy was killed immediately. Mm -hmm. And then obviously I've read a, a, a couple of books on it, but the idea that he gets killed immediately. Yeah. That's where you go. Something's wrong. Yeah. Oh yeah. Something's oh, com yeah. just completely. Uh, 183 meters is what I just found. 183 meters. What is that in yards? What is it's about 200 yards. Is it? That's what this says. I don't know if this is what the actual, okay. accurate measurement was, but that's what I just found. That's interesting. I didn't so know it was that it was, much of a disparity. This says it was never more than 90 yards from from the Oswald's the supposed location. So there's a lot, I mean. Oh, okay. So where he went things. when he got the final shot was that far? It was 200 yards? No, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. He was m never more than 90 yards from Oswald's yeah, location. How's that work? Two separate. Uh, I, <laughs> I didn't know that <clears throat> 183 meters was 200 yards. That's crazy. Yeah. A meter is pretty close to a yard. Yeah, it's pretty right, similar. Right, but that, that's why I thought it would be like 185 or something like that. Like, there's actually a formula for doing that, for converting uh, meters to yards. Yeah. You add one of the last numbers or some shit. I forget how it works. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting thing because it really is, you know... Christopher Hitchens said that the Kennedy assassination was the movement that, like, that moment was the, the psychic movement of the 60s started. Mm. Like, that was the fracturing of reality for a lot of people in the same way that maybe Epstein was, where it just kind of... No, a president's got to be way bigger, man. It's huge. It was huge. It was this big thing that, you know, it was a, a traumatic event that people dealt with in a bunch of different ways. No one's sitting around going, do you remember where you were? When yeah, you when Epstein, Epstein died? Well, you don't have the friends I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of but people on Reddit saying that. But yeah. it's like 9-11. Of course. Almost. Yeah. You know, similar. Yeah. Almost, like, 
Those like, are the events. Unless you knew somebody in 9-11, yeah. it's probably bigger. Than Do you think it's possible that down the road, not that the government like did it, but that they, we, we find out that there was a substantial cover-up. You know, We didn't know about Saudi Arabia, their involvement for a while. There's oh, it, for 9-11? Yeah. Is, do, do you think it's possible that we just you don't know the whole story? It's totally possible. Course, yeah. I, don't, I don't have any idea what was being done or who was involved. And yeah. I know that there was a bunch of hijackers, and they flew planes into those buildings. But who was behind that? Who the fuck knows? Yeah. How would we know? Like, Great question. What, yeah, part of, know. You know, what part of Saudi Arabia, where they all came from? Like who, where did they get their orders from? Like how yeah. they, how they organize this? I mean, yeah. I think they know. know a certain amount, and I think a certain amount they'll probably never know. Yeah. And we'll all but, go to our death not knowing. What do you think about that one that got shot down? They they shot th that let's roll one. Yeah, they, they shot yeah that they down, shot right? that down. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they said that thing the the flight the the uh, rubbish, the wreckage was scattered for miles. Yeah, I mean there's there's no yeah. way they didn't shot that. Down. But there's a lot of things about that day where you look back at it and you go, this is just weird. Yeah, it's weird that a building fell that wasn't hit by anything. It's just weird. Well, I'm not saying it can't happen, but that's odd. It's definitely odd. That's the odd. Way, the way it looks is odd. It looks like a controlled demolition. But yeah. if you watch the full version, there's a guy who used to be like a full-on 9-11 truther, and then he started like then the CIA paying started attention. Paying yeah. He started just oh. paying attention to the flaws in his way of thinking. Sure. And uh, one of the things that he found out was that the version of Tower 7 that most people see is uh, a version that's very quick. It just it, it implodes and it just falls down. But for minutes before that, you can watch the center of the thing collapse inside of it. Oh, interesting. And the, and the okay. way, have you ever seen that version? I've never seen that version. Pull up the can we full see that one? version. Yeah, it's very interesting. Full version of Tower 7 collapsing. Yeah. So I want to find one that well, includes Well, because the 9-11 people center. get so crazy. They're yeah. like, there were no buildings. It's all holograms. There were no planes. Ah, New no York planes doesn't exist. Missiles. You know, I mean, it's, it's nuts. Yeah. But I want to see the uncut Building 7. Because maybe... A plane hit the Pentagon? It's... I, I mean, so. Well, okay, but just release... I just want to see one video yes. of it happening. Right. Just show me one video. Do you think they have a video? Is There's there some 80 weird cameras video? on the Pentagon. Just show me one video of it happening. Isn't I think it probably happened. there one video of a plane hitting the Pentagon? There's one, but it's very weird. The frames yeah, are very yeah, weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's weird. I, just show me the video. I, yeah. I want to believe Meanwhile, a plane hit the Pentagon. The rover on the fucking moon is taking beautiful video. This is what I'm <laughs> saying. This is the problem. <laughs> this is the fucking issue. camera. You imagine if you have a sh some shit that's like a thousand times worse than a, a yeah, one, like one of them doorbell cameras. Yeah, they got a thousand times worse, and it was viewing the yeah. goddamn Pentagon. Pentagon. They're, they're putting it together from cell phone cameras. <laughs> I get. I understand that, that it was technology was different. Just show me a video of a plane hitting the Pentagon, and I'm good. I'm with you. What do you think? It could be a missile? I don't know, but I just want to know why we just, there's no one video. We got to <laughs> see a video. Isn't that crazy? Why am I crazy for saying, can I just see one video of the thing happening that you said happened? Well, did you know that, maybe this is not true, and Jamie's going to be checking this one out soon. Um, the area in the Pentagon that got hit was refortified. Was the same area uh, where they were doing the accounting? Yeah, where they were trying to figure out where the trillion dollars is missing that yeah. Rumsfeld was talking about well, on camera. Just that, I think the day before, right? Wasn't yeah, he? it's an interesting situation. Didn't he say that there's like missing money? Like they're yeah, trying like to figure Rumsfeld, out. Yeah, like wasn't Rumsfeld the, like out on the lawn? Like these people, yeah, yeah. Are, what are they doing? They just uh, doing. You're press. not in a bunker. You're out on the lawn. I don't know what happened. I mean, listen, it was something crazy, like trillions of dollars. Two point three. Ah! So two point three trillion. Oh my god! I mean, you know. And so the next day, see if that's true that that area of the Pentagon that held that the accounting. I don't think they tell you what. Just see if you see if you can Google the area of the Pentagon that was hit contained the accounting offices. Jamie, I believe, I, I believe I don't think the dark that they web will tell have you it. that. The dark web will have I it. Jamie, I feel like I read that though. I, I, I know the I, I understand your suspicion, yeah. but I just like you to just. I'm, I'm trying to lie. I, already I heard the building seven something. had a lot of financial records in. It. <gasps> that's what that's I heard. What I heard. That's what I heard. Is I don't, and NSA, Ron, I don't know. CIA, all the satellite dishes that were pointed at. Epstein, Listen, here's Buck the thing Island. with the way I look at conspiracies. I don't want to believe in any of them. Right. That's the whole thing. Like I want there to be a plan hit the Pentagon. I want, I want it all to be what it is. I, I have but no now investment. That we know that a bunch of elites were going to an island to have sex with underage girls. Yeah, we there's know. of course. They could do whatever. They don't but we, care. We also know, like, hey, how much of this is true? Like, this right. is this is a wacky one. Yeah, this is one that if you told your mom, yeah. like ten years ago, she'd be like, Timmy, you're back on the drugs. Yeah, yeah right? she would. Yeah, she'd be like, the fuck is wrong with you? No one's going to an island to fuck kids. Right, but it's the same thing. It's like now that that's 
on the table. You look at other events and you're like, well, we don't know no. necessarily how all of these things happen. No, we don't know. We don't know. We, we don't just, know. We just have to go. There's Listen, there's conservative fire, fi- like fire companies from Queens, right. from out by Long Island that like because they've gotten sick and stuff have demanded like a new investigation. Mm. And these are not like, crazy people these are people that just go listen we're all dying from first responders and things we just you know we want to know exactly what the hell we breathed in and what the hell's going on well it's all the uh, burning chemicals from the the basement of the building right wasn't that the I idea guess those fires burn forever i guess those, that's what it is yeah those guys got so many of them got sick so many of them got yeah, cancer it's horrible it's horrific it's really it's you really know, fucked D- up donna summers died from that donna summer the disco person yep. well i don't really oh, care about that some hot stop I'm kidding. Don't. What? How dare I you. like her? She was amazing. She's great, but how do, was she saving people at 9 11? No, no, no. She had an apartment that was near the, the site of the <laughs> like building. Donna Summer's running into the building. Dude, I think you live down there, man. If you have an apartment down there and you're you can't still move, fucked, you're breathing that air, man. Interesting. She died of lung cancer, I think. I, I thought she was a smoker. I don't think she was. I thought she would just smoke cigarettes and you know do coke and live a fun disco oh, life. How dare you? I think she found the Lord. I had no idea she was a first responder. After she, uh, you know, she gave up on all that hot love. She, she was going through the, the wreckage. Yeah, no, God she was her. not going through the. She wreckage. was just living. She was there. just living in her apartment. Okay, I think that's the the idea. Of course, people. I'm, there there are people that are probably very sick. Oh yeah, man. yeah. It's a tr- and they were lied to about the risks. Well, I don't think anybody knew. That's true. Nobody had ever had to endure a, an inferno in the basement of a gigantic building in yeah. a metropolitan city that lasted for weeks. It's crazy. Right after planes crash, all the dust is in the air, all the fucking pollutants, and yeah, particulates, and everybody's br- breathing all that shit in. I mean, you got to go back to work eventually, right? Yeah. So 100%. when do you go back to work? A week later? Two weeks later? Guess what? The air's still fucked up. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear about Donna Summer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah, but I'm Listen, wrong a lot. Can oh. we see? A vi- can you pull up a video of Donna Summer breathing in the fumes at Ground no! Zero? Oh, <laughs> you fuck. She's great. I saw Jones Beach. She was really good. Did you? you saw I her saw live? Jones Beach live. Yeah, what she year was, was great. This? She was. She was older. She had. You know. She was. It was her comeback. It was like mm. the 2000 and Donna uh, Summer blamed 9/11 for lung cancer. This was like 2000. She was coming back. She released an out like a greatest hits album. You and your ad blocker, you son of a bitch. Those ad blockers. Yeah, they, my, those my producer know Ben it. has them too, and he's always Look got that. A- Donna Summer, 9-11 gave me cancer. Well, yeah. that's not a fun song, is it? No. That's not a fun Donna song. Donna Summer was convinced that inhaling toxic air after 9-11 gave her the lung cancer that eventually killed her. TMZ has learned. Source close to the singer tells TMZ, who we're hearing this morning that Donna was in, a New, York, in when New York City during 9-11, living at an apartment near Ground Zero. Donna it, became almost paranoid about breathing the air, which was heavy, you, with you a could, rancid yeah. odor. Oh, gotta Jesus. move. You gotta move. Gotta oh my move. God. In the months and years following 9-11, Donna's feelings intensified. One source tells us that when he was around Donna, she would constantly spray some sort of disinfectant in the air. Danny Terrio, the horse, host of Dance Fever, tells us <laughs> when he was around Donna post 9-11, she would hang six sheets in her dressing room to prevent dust from coming in. Well, oh my God. She sounds like she did die of it. Yeah. And she also she sounds like she's being annoying in the end. <laughs> she sounds like she's being a little annoying. With her sheets. It's a little annoying, Donna. 